Hey guys, the fan of fans 47 here to show you some new stuff that I got over the last few days. First of all, I'm going to start off with this right here. This is a big shot do-it-yourself digital camera. Yes, I actually built this. It's from a kit and uh, it works and I really like it. And uh, yeah, so it's got um, three lenses. It's got regular, wide angle, and 3D and you can turn this dial to uh, change his lens to change lenses, just like that. I usually have it on the regular. And for modes, you have off, playback, auto, force flash, flash off, and timer. And there's your viewfinder. <coughs> Excuse me. And there are the buttons for delete, previous, and next. Oh, there's a hair on my screen. And there's a USB for charging and uh, data transfer but you can also charge it using this crank here and it turns these gears in the back which is connected to a motor that charges the battery and when you turn the hand crank fast enough the green light comes on so yeah and I'll go ahead and demonstrate this I'll put it on the auto setting it's turning on it says big shot and there we go. You can see there's the display. We'll go ahead and shoot a picture. And it does have an LED flash, by the way. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that by putting it on the force flash setting. And it's not very effective, but it does the job. And I'll do the time real quick. Has a cool shutter sound, in my opinion. So, yeah. And we can go into the playback mode. And in order to delete a picture... Oh, there's the camera. <laughs> in order to delete a picture, you press delete, and then you hit yes. Did I say hiss? I meant hit. We can do that for the remaining pictures that I took. So, yeah, there we go. And it says big shot when it's shutting off. And it does have a power saver after one minute, which is nice. So, yeah, it's got a tripod mount. It's made in China. And the flash is also removable, so that's nice. It's got a light there, as you saw during the timer process. And that right there is for an optional lanyard. So, yeah, and here's the shutter button. So, yeah, it's pretty cool in my opinion. I like how you can see through it. So, yeah, there's that. And last but not least, I got this. Yep, that's right, it's another mantle clock. This one is made by Belova. Very good watch company, I recommend them. Um, so yeah, it's got these things. They're not really metal, they're plastic, but they're made to look like metal. And it's made out of real wood. And I got this on Amazon for like 40 bucks. And it is showing the correct time, by the way. It's 2.52. It's almost 2.53, according to this. Well, now it's 2.53. <laughs> So, yeah. I know the bottom, it's got these felts to protect it from vibrating, and it's got a little barcode there. Which I won't show in detail for privacy reasons. And here's the back. And the back, there are the batteries for the chime. And this right here is the battery for the movement. I usually have the cover off of this so I can easily take the batteries in now if I don't want the chime on. And there's a speaker. It plays the Westminster Chime hourly with no strike. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you. All you have to do to test it is put a, is put the battery in. But the batteries are already in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them out. There we go. That was a bit weird. Sorry if I was covering the mic for a second there because it's like right there. Alright. Here we go. Oh. My fault. All right, here we go. Oh. What happened? Oh, you know what? You have to wait till it gets on the hour. So, yeah, I can't really show you the chime, unfortunately. But, yeah. I'll make a separate video on this. 
so you'll get to hear the chime in that video, but, uh, yeah, so that was just a couple things that I got over the last few days, and thanks for watching. Peace.